The ads are everywhere. They're trying to get in your head. Hey, this is Scott Wendkiewicz, and if you're tired of seeing these Wix and Squarespace ads, well, maybe you're enjoying it. I don't know, but they are everywhere, right? And it's for a reason. They're trying to convince you that they're the ideal solution for your photography websites. But are they really? My opinion, they're not. Now, I work for Imagely, a company who makes photography websites. So you're going to right away say I'm biased. Well, you know what? I am. I've also been a WordPress user for well over 10 years. And, you know, it, it, it's the best. I mean, there is nothing better than WordPress. You can do anything you want with WordPress. I'm also the co-host of the WordPress Photography Podcast. Please be sure to subscribe on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, all those places. Wherever you listen to podcasts, check that out because it's we break down everything so it's easy for you to understand. Now, I want to talk about, um, yes, Wix, Weebly, Squarespace, they all make making photography websites very easy. But that's about all they do. Some of them have really poor um, code for SEO purposes. For example, one of the services actually completely removes all the HTML, so all you're seeing is an iframe code. Um, I know that's kind of advanced for a lot of people, but what you're seeing is iframe code for um, for your website. No matter what page you're on, you're seeing the same iframe code. That's not good. Some of the services rename your file names. Some of the services um, do different things that really is just not good for you. And there's something called content ownership, but I'm gonna get into that. So. Take a look at the screen real quick, and I want to show you just some of the services that are available that I know a lot of photographers are using, and I'm not going to trash them all. I just want to show you what, what is available, and then I want to show you uh, why I recommend WordPress instead of all these other services. And of course, there are many WordPress versus Squarespace, WordPress versus Weebly type articles out there. Uh, I'm not going to go through all that big list. Uh, just do a Google search, and you will find the answers you're looking for. This video is just to show you why I recommend WordPress over all the others. So let's go to the screen. So you see here that uh, I, right now I'm on the Squarespace site and yes, they have very pretty sites. They have this sort of drag and drop system, um, which um, I'm gonna come back to uh, once I get to the WordPress side of things, but uh, it's there where you customize all the different settings and things that you're putting on a page. Then they have, then there's Wix. Now Wix uh, is really pushing hard to uh, show off their page builder. Yes, it is a very easy system to use. Um, Wix was originally built as a WordPress solution and they sort of forked, uh, copied, uh, legally copied everything that WordPress is doing and then made it their own thing in the end. So now Wix is not like a WordPress at, uh, site at all. It is its own thing, but that is where Wix got its roots. Um, so there's Wix. Now, next is Weebly. It's another service. I know some uh, photographers using this and yes, again, they make things easier than uh, WordPress is out of the box. Um, but you're still using their service. Next is Show It. Show It is a uh, big in the foot photography industry. They basically have their own website system as you're seeing in this on the screen right now. And it pushes to a, a live site um, and they also offer WordPress blogs as well. Um, and it's just sort of a disconnect because they don't, the show it part is not a blog. It's the, um, the blog is literally a WordPress site that's separate from the other site. So you have two places you have to log in. Then there's Good Gallery. Good Gallery is its own platform. Again, um, I'm, I'm pretty sure that they offer WordPress blogs. Again, separate, sort of like show it, it's separate login, separate site. Um, and, and that, yeah. Then there's Zenfolio. Now Zenfolio, um, does not offer a blog at all, I believe. And it's basically, uh, Zenfolio is an e-commerce solution, a proofing solution, but they, uh, started pushing themselves as more of a website solution when really it's just a e-commerce solution. And that's really it. Um, I believe if you need a blog, you have to go, or maybe they added it recently. I I'm not exactly sure. Cause I don't really pay too much attention to it. Um, but uh, yeah, so you, you might have to have two separate sites here again. And then there's uh, SmugMug does not offer a blog at all. So if you want a blog, you have no choice but to go and 
get a blog separate. Otherwise, you can just use SmugMug as your website. Then there's format. I don't know much about format really at all. I don't know really anything about format. They do have pretty designs, uh, nothing unique. It's really just the same site designs that are pretty much everywhere else um, and every other platform, including WordPress. And uh, yeah, I don't know if there's a blog system included. I'm guessing there is. Uh, I don't even see the word blog in any of these screenshots. So maybe there's not, I'm not really sure. Um, but it does offer proofing, which is a nice thing as well. Now, those are some of the popular um, systems that are out there. But the reason why I'm recommending WordPress, one of the many reasons, is content ownership. If you go to imagely.com slash co, it'll forward to this website. This is talking about content ownership. And it's not just me writing about this. This is actually uh, a, a couple friends also writing about why they... Um, prefer WordPress because of the content ownership aspect. Basically, the, the premise behind content ownership is whenever you do in WordPress, it's yours. Whatever you do on sites like Medium and Squarespace and Wix and Weebly and Smugbug and Zenfolio and all these places, you don't own the content. Yes, it's your photographs with your copyright. Yes, you made the text, but they can do whatever they want with your site, with your content. And it means that they can actually use your content in their advertisement and not give you a dime. So content ownership is super, super important. And the only platform that really is worth talking about that gives you full content ownership is WordPress. Now, one of the confusing things about WordPress, and uh, there's a, uh, a podcast episode I did called uh, Misconceptions and Confusion, Confusions, because a lot of the confusions in WordPress is actually be caused by misconceptions. WordPress, first of all, is not a blagging, blogging platform. It is a content management system that offers static pages and blogs. Yes, it started as a, as a blogging platform. It is no longer a blogging platform. It is now a content management system. Now, there are two types of WordPress sites. There's WordPress.com, which is created by a company called Automatic. It's the company owned by the original developer of the WordPress software. WordPress.com is not what I'm talking about in this video because it is still a closed system like a Squarespace, like a Wix and a Weebly and a Show It and a Good Gallery and a Zenfolio and a SmugMug and a Format. It's a closed system. It does use the WordPress software, but you cannot add any theme you want or any plugin you want or do whatever you want. You do have your content ownership though. You do own every aspect of your site when you use a WordPress.com. But that is not what I'm talking about in this video. I am talking about WordPress.org. This is the actual software of WordPress. This is the software that you can install on any host, on any server. You can even host it locally if you want um, and do whatever you want with it. Literally anything you want with it. So what I mean by that is if we go to look at themes, there are thousands and thousands of themes. There are thousands and thousands of themes, right? So the latest, there are just over 4,500 recently published WordPress themes. If we go to plugins, now themes are the look of your website, plugins are the functionality of your website, there are almost 50,000 free plugins. Now this does not include anything that's paid. There are many paid plugins, there are many paid themes out there, this is just the free ones. Now. It might be a little overwhelming, the fact that there are a lot of free themes and free plugins out there. What do you use? What is best for your site? You could go and look at the featured plugins up here. You could go down and look at the popular plugins. You can look at some beta plugins, whatever you want to do. But this is where some of the confusion of WordPress comes in because there are, there's so much. The upside of WordPress is that you can literally do anything. The downside of WordPress is that you can literally do anything. So uh, what I recommend is checking out um, is checking out Imagely Hosting. Imagely Hosting is a turnkey photography website solution. It is built on WordPress. It is a managed WordPress host, which means you don't have to worry about the technical stuff. You don't have to worry about installing WordPress. We do it all for you. And, and we are pre-installing it with best in class photography themes for your website and with the best in class plugins for your website. That includes uh, a, all these designs and more. 
right? All included. And we are actually installing with tons of plugins like selling your photographs, proofing your photographs, um, selling digital downloads and prints, uh, and SEO plugins and analytics plugins, things like that. We're also making your site uh, SSL or HTTPS for free. So there are tons of benefits to this platform over something else of WordPress that you just have to figure it out for yourself. Now, one of the things that is often said when talking about Squarespace versus WordPress is, well, Squarespace lets you drag and drop and do whatever you want. Well, guess what? WordPress does too. If you go to imagely.com slash P, uh, what did I call it? PBC is the thing is what I was, is the URL that I use, a short URL, and it'll forward to this blog post. This is a very extensive blog post I did in January of 2017 with Corey Potter of Fuel Your Photos. And in this comparison, we go through all of the popular page builders. There are a lot of page builders. And what I mean by page builders are basically a drag and drop system. We go through all of these and talk about it from the user perspective, not a developer's perspective, but the user perspective, the photographer's perspective. And we go through and talk about the usability, how it, how it has an impact on site speed and things like that. And we offer our recommendations. And we're actually, there's a whole bunch that, uh, of new ones and updated ones that we have to go through and, and update this blog post about. But um, in the meantime, this is a fantastic comparison. There are tons of page builders and I'm gonna show you my, my recommendation a little bit. But before I get into my recommendation of page builders, take a look at this. This is a company called Flow Themes. They make a lot of themes for photographers. They have some plugins that go with their themes. And uh, it's a very simple setup, no page builder built in. But they, the way they designed it is just a very easy setup. It's kind of done for you, which is a nice thing. They're not inexpensive. Their themes are $249 versus, for example, the Imagely themes, which are like $40. So uh, it's not inexpensive uh, for Flow Themes. They can also do the installation for you. Um, so if you want to look for something that uh, a lot of photographers are using these days, you can look at Flow Themes. You can look at Imagely themes. You can look at Photo, which is one of the more um, most popular themes out there which now their newest version has a page builder built in. It is not the same type of page builder as what I'm gonna show you next, but they do have a page builder built in. And, uh, and, and it, you should be able to uh, fairly simply get up and running with a photography website um, from a very popular solution in the industry. Now, the actual page builder that I recommend, which will work with any theme that you use, and here's the catch, not all page builders work with any themes. Okay, this one called Elementor works with any theme. So now whether, whether you're using Flow Themes or Profoto or uh, anything from Graph Paper Press, whatever you're using, Elementor will actually work and give you a page builder system built in. So you can see that you could do a bunch of dragging and dropping of, of the, the, the elements, these modules that you, put, that you put in there. You can resize columns and adjust height. Everything is done without needing to know code. There's also a lot of free templates that are built in that you could use. Here's the elements that you could do. You can drag headers and text and images and videos, tons and tons of elements that you could utilize. And then there's a bunch of uh, premium if you wanted to buy their premium version, but really their free version does, I would say 99.9% .9 of what anybody needs. So it's pretty fantastic on that front. Uh, it's also mobile friendly and you can do very fine tuned controls on every aspect of what you do designing your site again with any theme and without having to know any code. So uh, as far as page builders goes, this element from Elementor is better than Squarespace, than with Weebly, than Wix, from Showit, from Profoto, from Divi, any other platform out there, Elementor, is the best one there. And it's 100% free, unless you wanna buy their, their premium version, which is still not that expensive uh, for a few extra features. Now, the last thing I wanna mention is the actual customizer. I mentioned that Squarespace has this customizer feature to make uh, quick changes of colors and things like that. WordPress does the same exact thing. And in fact, they look very similar. So when people say, oh, you can customize so much easier in Squarespace, it's really BS because it's the same thing in WordPress. It just looks a little different. 
that's it. So um, again, my argument is not to say, don't use Squarespace, don't use Wix, don't use Weebly. I am saying there's a better solution out there for you that gives you full control over your content, full content ownership, and lets you do whatever you want. And that is called WordPress. Now, I recommend you go to imagery.com slash websites and check out the hosting solution there, which is a turnkey solution that gives you everything you need, that manages your site for you, so you don't have to worry about the technical aspects. And check it out. You get 30 days for free. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.